I find that in engineering, you you are trained for resilience. <laughs> so a lot of the things that come your way are things that have been established, but it's also looking at a problem that is affecting the world. You know, if a bridge collapses, if a car explodes, it has a big impact in the world. So I think that that background and that kind of mindset has led me to become a better leader in that I really think of the consequences of the things I put out. Our team receives a lot of very ambiguous problems. If it, if it had a solution, it wouldn't come to us essentially. So it can be challenging, but I think it also brings us the fresh perspective of really trying to understand what the problem is about. And I find that it's beautiful that in my job, I also get to be that storyteller to kind of convert that whole technical thing that may not be understandable by everyone to a more fluid, form of communication that everyone can understand. I get a lot of younger women that I speak to ask me, how do you feel being the only one? I'm not the only one, but I'm one of the few. And I think it's very rewarding to be a pioneer and someone who gets to put that different perspective out there. And I do think there, there, there is a need for more of us to be there. So, you know, follow your gut. If it's something you want to do, don't let anyone, you know, shame you or make you feel like you're not capable. Uh, just go for it and you'll be surprised at how rewarding it is for you.